In this video, I'm going to share with you all the different self-publishing platforms that you can publish your books on that is not Amazon KDP. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caroline and I quite often get comments and questions asking about other places to self-publish books other than Amazon KDP. When you think about publishing books, regardless of whether it's low content or high content books, I think we all automatically think of KDP and that being the place to publish. And with Amazon being the biggest retailer of books in the world and having an absolutely massive built-in customer base, you might be wondering why anyone would want to publish books anywhere else. But there can be a few different reasons why you might want to publish books in places other than Amazon KDP. Maybe you have had your KDP account terminated for some reason. And if you have, hopefully you have learned from those mistakes and you won't do the same things on other self-publishing platforms. But there is still a way to get your books into the Amazon marketplace without a KDP account. And some of these self-publishing platforms that I'm going to talk about today can help you with that. Now, I do just want to say I'm not going to share these platforms with you as a way to get around publishing books on Amazon KDP if you have had your account terminated due to doing the wrong thing purposefully. I did just want to mention about anyone having their account terminated but still wanting to publish on Amazon, if you are wanting to really publish good quality books and perhaps made a mistake that you didn't realize which ended up getting your account terminated. So if you are genuine about wanting to publish books the correct way, then there is a way around not having a KDP account to publish on Amazon. Now, maybe you do have a KDP account or you just want to expand and get your books into the most amount of places as you possibly can so that your customers can find you in more places than just Amazon. Or maybe you just don't like Amazon. Lots of people don't and they refuse to buy anything from Amazon. And if you are one of those people, then you probably don't want to sell anything through them either. Maybe you just want some more printing options or higher quality printing options. Things like spiral bound books or covers with foil printing, etc. Or maybe you've never even thought about having books published anywhere else and didn't even know that you could. And now you're possibly interested in getting your books into other different platforms and marketplaces. So in this video, I have gathered a huge list of places that you can self-publish your book. If you are looking for other places other than Amazon KDP to publish and sell books. First of all, just a couple of notes before I get into the different platforms where you can self-publish. Firstly, it will depend on the type of books that you publish as to where you will be able to self-publish them. Some of these companies are digital ebooks only. Some only allow high content books and things like that. Secondly, it will also depend on how you want to set up your self-publishing business as to which platform is best for you. So you might want to sell your books on your own website, your own online store. So you're looking maybe just for somewhere who can or someone who can print your books for you. Or maybe you want to get your books into retail stores, both online and physical retail stores. So some of these platforms have a built in marketplace and a built in customer base that you can sell your books to. Very similar to Amazon, just obviously not on the same scale as what you can get with Amazon. And some of them are just purely distributors, meaning you use them to get your books into retailers and they don't have their own marketplace to sell your books in. OK, let's take a look at these platforms so that you can start to work out which one is going to be best for you. Ingram Spark is the first self-publishing platform that I'm going to share with you. And this platform lets you publish hardcover, paperback and ebooks and also has a global distribution system to retailers. The thing with most of these platforms who do distribute your books for you is that they never really tell you exactly who they distribute to. I imagine that that list is probably constantly changing, which is why they don't make that public. It would probably be a bit too hard to keep on top of since it changes all the time, but they do list a few that Ingram works with. And Ingram works with retailers, libraries, and schools, as well as Amazon, Walmart.com, Barnes and Noble, and Target.com. And they distribute to retailers 
outside of the US too to a range of different countries around the world. With Ingram Spark, there is a fee to publish your book with them and they are actually the only platform that I could find that actually do this. If you want to publish a paperback book, it will cost you a setup fee of $49. If you only have a digital book, so an ebook that you want to publish, it will cost you $25 of a setup fee to publish it. And if you have both a paperback and a ebook version of your book, it will cost you $49 to publish both through Ingram. So just to clarify, that price is just to set your book up in their platform and then there are printing costs too if you are selling paperback books. And really, if you think of it this way, that just really means people will really only be publishing high quality books through Ingram since you do have to pay for each one that you want to publish through them, as opposed to what often happens on Amazon when people mass publish books of a very low quality. Although I can't find anything specifically saying this on their website, I do believe that you cannot publish low content books like notebooks and journals through Ingram Spark, but it does look like you can publish medium content books, which a lot of my recent videos have been all about, and that's books like coloring books and puzzle books. The next one that I'm going to talk about is Lulu, and I have done some videos in the past about this platform because I was experimenting using them to create premium books because they have some really nice high quality printing options compared to KDP. Lulu have some really nice options like spiral bound books, linen bound covers and foil printing for covers. Lulu does have its own marketplace that you can sell on, but it's nowhere near as popular as any of the others. Definitely not as popular as Amazon. So I would say don't only publish your books onto the Lulu marketplace and leave it at that. And that's it because I highly doubt you will make many sales that way. You would want to sell your books elsewhere and use Lulu to print them for you. You can use them as a drop shipper if you're selling through your own Shopify store, which means that you don't have to buy bulk stock up front and then ship them out to your customers. They will only print and send the book for you. Once you have a customer, place an order in your store, or you can use Lulu for their distribution system. Using Lulu, you can distribute your books to Amazon, Apple Books, Barnes and Noble, Ingram, and more. There are no upfront fees to publish your books books through Lulu. You only pay once a book has been printed, which also means that your book is only printed once you've made a sale, whether that be through your own website, a third party website, or through their uh, retail distribution system. Lulu also don't have any restrictions on what kinds of books that you can publish th through them. So publishing low content books like journals is possible through Lulu. draft to digital is the next platform that I would like to share with you. And this platform allows you to publish paperback books and eBooks to their distribution network. draft to digital can distribute your book to Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Apple Books. And so can you see how I said earlier that you can still sell books on Amazon without a KDP account? You can do it through one of these distributors and still sell your books on Amazon. Now, just a note here, you cannot distribute a book through one of these platforms if it has already been banned on Amazon KDP. So you would only be doing this if you have quality books that haven't already been blocked, banned or taken down on Amazon, but don't want to sell directly through Amazon KDP yourself. There are no upfront costs to publish through draft to digital. If you are publishing paperback books, you will receive a 45% royalty and the rest goes to draft to digital and the retailer who sells your book. And that is after the printing costs have been taken away as well. And what is great about this platform is that you can pick and choose which retailers they do distribute your book too. So you don't have to sell through everyone that they partner with if you don't want to. Barnes and Noble Press is the next platform we are going to look at. And I know I have mentioned them in all the platforms that I've already just talked about that they distribute to Barnes and Noble, but you can do it directly with them if you prefer to do that rather than going through one of those third party distributors. You can sell paperback books and eBooks through the Barnes and Noble platform, and you just need to sign up as a vendor to be able to do that, which is free. Not every country can set up a vendor account though. It is quite a small list of countries that can. So you do need to go to the website and double check if your country is eligible. When you publish through this platform, your books are available 
on the Barnes and Noble online store and within the Nook app, which is their reading device app exclusively for Barnes and Noble's customers. If you do have people that want to buy a physical copy of your book, then they can contact a Barnes and Noble seller and special order your books through Barnes and Noble. But one thing to just note is that it does not mean your books will get into the Barnes and Noble physical stores any easier if you decide to self-publish your book with them. This platform really is going to be suited for more high content books because they mostly sell your books through the online platforms and low and medium content books just do not convert to eBooks. But if you are a publisher of high content books then you will receive a 70% royalty from your eBook sales through Barnes & Noble. One thing that I do like about Barnes & Noble is that if you are selling physical books and selling hardcover books, they do offer hardcovers with dust jackets, which I think is really nice. I haven't seen any of the other platforms do that either. And I personally think that hardcovers should just come with a dust jacket. It makes them look a lot more premium. And when I buy a hardcover book myself, I expect it to come with a dust jacket, but that is just a personal preference of mine. Barnes & Noble also don't have any setup fees, just the printing costs if you do sell physical books through them, and then obviously the royalty for selling either the physical or e-book copy of your books. Kobo is the next platform that I want to look at, and this is purely a digital reading app that people can download to read books through the Kobo store. So this platform is going to be suited only for those books that can be read in a digital format, so not low or medium content books. They also distribute your book to other online retailers around the world who sell ebooks too. Because this platform is purely digital, there are no setup fees and there are obviously no printing fees. You can earn up to a 70% royalty on your ebooks, but what royalty you will receive will depend on what you price your book at. They have a threshold, which is different for each country that you sell your book in. So if your price is over that threshold, you receive a 70% royalty. If your price is below the threshold, you receive a 45% royalty. And if you sell public domain books, you receive a 20% royalty. You can also sell audiobooks through Kobo, so that is a great option. If you have audio versions of your books and for audiobooks, you can receive up to a 45% royalty for each sale that you get. Next up, we have Publish Drive, and this is a platform that will distribute your books for you, and you can publish eBooks, paperback books, and audiobooks through them. They have partnered with over 400 bookstores to sell your physical book to and over 240,000 digital libraries online that you can sell your ebooks to across many different countries. You can distribute your book through them to all the major channels like Amazon, Apple Books, Ingram, and Barnes and Noble. Now, Pub Publish Drive is a little different to all the other platforms that I've just talked about in that they do not take any royalties at all from the sales of your book. So yes, you get 100% of the royalties on every book that you sell. If you are selling physical books, then there is also the printing costs to take into account as well. But instead, what they have done is they have created a monthly membership type of setup where you pay a monthly subscription fee depending on how many books that you want to publish rather than paying in relation to how many sales that you make. Now, if you are not selling many books at all, it might seem like a high cost to pay, but it is great for if you do start to see a lot of sales on your books. Their membership prices start at $16.99 per month for one book that can be sold in 35 stores, which is their starter membership, right up to $99.99 per month for up to 48 books that can be sold in 50 different stores. Plus you get more membership features as you go higher in the levels of membership. The $99.99 one per month I just mentioned is the pro membership, which is the highest one that you can get. I wanted to share this platform with you because of that, the fact that it does have a different setup of a monthly membership, because that may suit some of you better than having to pay royalties on every single book that you sell. And the last platform that I'm going to share with you today is Smashwords. 
which is a place that you can publish and distribute your books through. This platform is also exclusively for books in a digital format, so eBooks. And so it will really only suit high content books and not low or medium content books, unfortunately. Smashwords have their own marketplace that you can sell your books through, or you can distribute through their network to major retailers and libraries, and just like all the others to Apple Books, Barnes and Noble and Kobo, as well as selling your books in lots of different countries. If you sell your book through the Smashwords marketplace, you earn up to 80% in royalties. And if you distribute your book through their distribution network, you can earn up to 60% royalties on your books. Aside from that, there are no upfront costs or setup fees to publish books through Smashwords. All of the platforms that I have talked about today are very easy to join and set an account up with and aside from Ingram Spark which does have that setup fee for every book that you want to publish through them they are all free to start publishing books with. For the ones who offer physical book publishing they mostly offer all the same options in terms of paper quality and cover options except for Lulu who do have some really good choices for premium options for the paper inside the book as well as the covers and something I didn't mention earlier is that they have options to create other types of books, I guess, not really books, but other types of things like calendars and magazines. So this is a pretty exhaustive list of platforms where you can self-publish books, but it's not a complete list. There are others out there that I haven't mentioned on this video. And I hope that by watching this video, you have found one that suits what you want and need in a publishing and distribution partner. Whether you just want to expand, and sell your books in more places than just Amazon, or whether you are looking for something specific that publishing through Amazon KDP just doesn't offer you. I hope that you have found the topic of this video helpful. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you either liked this video or left me a comment down below just to let me know. And I will see you in the next video.